Today's Mike's Tech and Toys and Slot Cars video is powered by Scale Extra, a Hornby Hobbies brand. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Wait a minute. 007 didn't drive a Ford Mustang. Of course he didn't. That it wasn't Bond that drove this beauty, it was Tilly Masterson. Well, actually, I think you'll find 007 did drive a Mustang briefly, but that was in Diamonds Are Forever, and that doesn't count. And this beauty of a car had the honor of being almost destroyed by the Aston Martin DB5. <laughs> Firstly, let me say a huge thank you to Hornby Hobbies Scalextric for this beauty. This was sent to me as a free sample, so there's the disclaimer. And it would be only fitting to start with the character before I say anything about the car. There is Tilly Masterson, the character that was from the Bond movie. And the way Scalextric have represented her in this model is amazing. Now, I'm not trying to say it's a spitting image of the character, but if you just look at how they have created this model sitting in this car, it's very well done. I think it's the best one I've seen yet of any character sitting in a Scalextric car. Beautifully done. And talking about beautifully done, would you look at this car? Oh my gosh, a bit of movie trivia for you and real life trivia. Did you know the year that the Goldfinger movie came out was the same year that Ford put this car out as a new model? 1964. Discover the unexpected hard top or soft top Mustang now at your Ford dealer. So as well as appearing in the movie, if you had the money, you could also buy this from your local car showroom. Well. I don't know how local, but anyway, it's a gorgeous scale extra specimen. This, I mean, look at the wheels. Look, look, look at the chrome on that. Or should I say, chrome effect or the paint that they've used makes it look like real chrome. Um, loving the fat tires and tiny little Mustang badge there. Awesome. Now I don't know the process of how Scalextric actually makes their cars, but sometimes I wonder if they scan the real version, 3D scan the real version to produce these slot cars because the way this one is so faithful, absolutely loving the front right there. You've got the big Ford badge, again, the Mustang right there on the grill, loving the headlights, the chrome bumper right there. You've got the license plate, just like in the movie. And look, the tiny little indicator lights. Cool right now. I've got a wax lyrical about the interior of this vehicle. I've already shown you Tilly, but look at the inside of the car itself. Come on, let's jump in, have a look. <laughs> it's as if you have just literally sat in the back seat of this Mustang. Brilliant. And can I say, not only does the interior look amazing, you've got the gear stick there. And please, would you look at this steering wheel? I'm going to call it. This is the best steering wheel I have seen on any slot car to date. It looks so authentic and wait, you've got to be kidding me. If you haven't noticed already, the mirrors are real. You can literally see Tilly in the mirrors. And if you're wondering why I'm so excited about the mirrors being real as it were, it's because normally they're not. They're just like a shade of gray or silver to make it look like mirrors and there's no reflection. This bad boy has reflection. Awesome. And that's not all because this is a convertible slot car and Scalextric goes that one step further in making sure the driver looks as realistic as possible. She's got legs. <laughs> I know that sounds funny me saying that. Of course she's got legs, but normally you don't see the legs in slot cars. She's actually got legs in this. The last time I saw legs on a figure inside a scale extra slot car was the Fab One. And as we look at the rear of this vehicle, looks very nice and very authentic. 
You've got your twin exhaust pipes right there. You've got your license plates, the GB sticker or badge right there. Very nice rear bumper, chrome looking. The rear lights look good. I believe all the lights work on this front and back. Very nice indeed and loving that luxurious red interior. Although I'm not too sure about these hollowed out seats at the back there look. <laughs> but anyway, let me not be too fussy. Loving the windscreen wipers and all the little chrome detail that you see all over the place there and the door handle, even the tiny little keyhole there. Oh, this is awesome. Now, if this is a true 132 scale vehicle, you'd like to think you should be able to put a sitting 132 scale figure next to Tilly. I wonder if that's possible. <laughs> you can look and because it's a convertible, he looks like he's very relaxed and enjoying the sky the scenery, <laughs> but you're not coming for the drive, so get out. Now, because Scalex Trick has designed and produced this model so that it has real leg room <laughs> and real seating at the front, at least, you will notice that there's absolutely no way a motor can sit in line under there. So without looking, I can tell you this is gonna be a sidewinder. So let's have a look underneath and there you have it. Now you're probably thinking if you're new to the slot car world, how can I tell without opening it? Well, the first thing to look for is where the gear sits. If it sits next to one of the rear wheels, it's a sidewinder and the motor's sitting that way. And because this is the older brother or sister to the Mustang that I did in my previous video, it too will have that cutout of the Mustang logo right there. Nice. And look, them gorgeous <laughs> exhaust pipes. And as I would come to expect, you've got your magnets there, which I know a lot of racers take out, okay? So it doesn't cling to the track as well. So you've got to be a bit more of a pro to drive these cars with no magnets. And of course, you've got your door if you want to take this thing to a digital track. Talking about track. Can I say such an elegant Mustang from 1964 with a gorgeous figure sat in there Tilly Masterson it's a car that again will be seriously a collector's piece for me so I was never gonna try and drive this as fast as possible and try and do skids or drifts or anything like that it's just a pleasure to drive it looks like the type of car you'd want to take out on a sunny Sunday afternoon for a leisurely drive. <laughs> Thanks again, Scalextric, Hornby Hobbies, and most of all, thank you for watching.